Hello everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we are going to start building our automation framework, which is hybrid framework. So let's quickly go ahead and get started. So what I'll do is I'll create a new project, which will cover the whole framework end to end. So we'll start from very scratch and then you can follow along these videos and you can learn how to design the framework. So we'll go and create a new project and we'll name it as test framework demo. All right. So interpreter, just the default one previously configured the one that I have on my machine and then click on create. So let's open in the new window. And so I've created a new project, right? Now let's go ahead and start creating the structure that we discussed in the previous tutorial. This was the hybrid framework. And these are some of the, so this is the structure that will basically follow to start creating a framework. So let me quickly create these packages. So I'll say package base, right? And then create another package which is pages. So let me quickly create all of these utilities cases, config files. And then we have this um, test data screenshots and report, which is basically will store in the directory. So just create the new directory. So we'll say test data directory and we'll have a directory for screenshots and we'll have a directory for the reports as well. Okay. Okay. So now whatever structure we have discussed previously, we have got it ready, right? So base folder will contain all the common libraries or common methods that we'll be reusing in our test automation and config files will contain all the configurations pages will contain all the page that we have the page level classes and then reports will have the reports test reports after the execution report screenshots will have the screenshots say for example we want to capture screenshots on failure we'll store all the screenshots here Test cases will have only test cases, right? So they won't be having any unnecessary functionality. And I'll explain you what I mean when we say we want to remove all the unnecessary details from the test cases. Then test data is where we have Excel or CSV, depending on how we are going to use test data in our project, we'll use test data files within the test data folder. And then utilities will have all the utilities that we'll be writing. Okay. Now, if I go and open the old project right here, I have created a particular file. So demo framework, let me quickly copy this. And what I'll do is this is one of the test case that I'll be converting it with the framework approach. So at the moment, every required detail for this particular test case is within one particular file. So what we are using at the moment is at the moment, we are just saying Python file, right? And say, for example, this is my test case one. Okay. So I'll simply say demo TC one and paste everything here. Okay. Let me minimize this. So at the moment, if you see this particular file, so what we are trying to do is as we are working with the yatra.com website, which is the travel website. So all the details that are there the uh, as part of this particular test case let me quickly open the website as well so as part of this test case what we are doing is we are going one way we are choosing the depart from going to selecting the departure date okay clicking on search flights once we click on search flights we are selecting the filter okay so we are selecting one of the stops filter so for example i select stop as one then we are verifying that all the flight details that are there within this particular page are of this filter or filter has been applied successfully to one stop. So this is our particular test case. Okay. So that's what we have implemented here. And in this particular code, if you see that everything is hard coded in this particular test case, right? So I'm opening the browser in the same test, then I'm having these locators within this particular test, right? I am then also having the common utils that I'll be using. I'm having the weights within this particular. So you can see that I have the weight defined the web driver weight defined within this particular test. Then I'm also scrolling to the end of the page. So all this detail is in the in this test as well. Apart from that, I'm also verifying, right? So this particular all the details that need to be there as part of this particular test case are embedded within this one particular file. Okay. Now, say so for example, I have to write another test for verifying that filter 
for two stops then i'll write separate test case and in separate test case i'll verify that it is it is basically displaying the results which are only having two stops okay so this is the biggest you know sort of disadvantage and disadvantage is that we are just putting all the details within this particular file now if we go with the framework approach here now instead of this particular test case containing everything we will externalize the driver launch right or browser launch basically we'll external externalize the browser launch somewhere we'll have the utils to handle this scrolling we'll have the utils to handle the screenshots we will have the weight utilities for the weight handling weights and then synchronization issues so all of these details can be moved separately these locators will be moved to a separate class where they can be managed easily so within our test case say for example tomorrow something changes in the application or the locator changes we'll just go and update it at one particular file and all our test cases won't get impacted with this particular approach that i'm showing on my screen if you see that if any of the locator changes and there are 500 test cases in this particular folder then i have to go through in all those test cases and update these locators right which is not a feasible approach at all so that's what we are going to learn this code will be available so i'll share this particular code and say for example let's let me quickly run this and show you how this particular code what this particular code is doing and then we'll start working or making it better so it's opening yatra.com it will select the depart going to value it will select the departure date search for the flights and then it will scroll to the end of the page so that it gets all the values because this is the by default the page doesn't load till the end so you have to basically use the javascript executor to scroll till the end and then it filters all the flights with one stops you can see one stop has been selected and then checks whether all the flights that are displayed are having one stop okay so if you go to the results here you will see the failure the failure is because it has not found one stop in one of the particular value and that's where it has failed so this is basically one of our test case that we are going to learn or convert it with the automation framework approach now here all these assertion failures so at this particular point you can see that it has failed because one of the assertion failed so all of these things we need to handle in the framework so that if there is one assertion that failed it moves on to go ahead and check the other assertions right so these are all things that we are going to learn as part of the framework implementation all right so i'll share this particular file go ahead and understand this this all the code that is there in this particular file is already explained in previous tutorials so anything that is not clear the only thing that is new in this particular file is the scroll which i'll cover as part of you know another video okay so that's all for this particular tutorial go ahead download this particular file every piece of code that i am explaining here will be available by end of this series so go ahead download it and then start following the framework series step by step with me so i hope this was helpful Thank you very much for watching.